Welcome back everyone for another video on Genshin Pack. Yes, I'm still playing daily. Why am I not making daily content on this shit? For the sole reason that they're patching it or updating it every like month and a half. So the, the amount of content that can put out in this world on Genshin Impact is very limited. However, uh, I'm streaming it quite often, uh, actually three times a week. Uh, you can uh, have a, a link to my stream down below in the comment. Anyway, I was uh, I was streaming at the game just for funsy uh, yesterday, and I was having fun just uh, roaming around, just like hopping and having fun. And one of my followers told me that he just started the game, and uh, he was watching some guide online, and he was telling me how some of those guide were telling him how purple artifact are trash, useless, and how you should only really aim for the the golden the great shiny legendary artifact. I'ma tell you right away, whoever is believing or saying that shit on the internet is not only wrong, but also a complete fucking moron. Because not only purple artifact are the best fucking thing you can get up until level 40-ish, because 40 is where you can start grinding for legendary artifact, but even when you pass adventure rank 40, Purple artifact that you already leveled up are still fucking good sometime. And I'll show you why you should still keep them and not trash them right away. So in the game, as you already know, there's some character that their ability, their spell are buffed by HP or defense like Barbara. Her E and her Q, both of her ability are scale or max HP. So... If you look at an artifact and you see a purple artifact that you already leveled up in between 0 to like adventuring 40 and you see that artifact does give you a decent amount of HP as a substats, you should probably keep them. You should probably fucking keep them. So when you look at like Feather, uh, when you look at Feather, the main stat will always be attack. It will always be attack regardless of... The rarity. So you could have a green artifact, it will be attack. You could have a purple artifact, the main staff will always be attack. So for Barbara, who's a support, a healer, you don't give a fuck about attack. The only thing you want is H fucking P. So if you see a fucking purple artifact with flat HP and like percentage HP, you should probably keep it. Unless you find another fl a 5 star artifact that does give you flat HP and percentage HP as a legendary that would be the only way you would like change uh, an artifact that's a purple one for a legendary one because if you already have a good artifact that give you the right uh, substat uh, you should probably keep it because again you don't give a fuck about attack and I don't think I have one on Barbara I think yeah, she doesn't even have HP. She has flat HP, but uh, she could have better substat. Um, but, 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 I also have Noel. Both of her fucking skill are scale on defense. So what do you want with Noel? The fucking fence. So now here comes a beautiful artifact that I think is just magic, pure magic. We have this beautiful artifact that I've got here. Obviously, again, the fair, the the normal, the, the main stat will always be attacked. We we already know that. But as a subset, I have 15 flat, but also I have 15% of defense. This is massive. That that not only mean I got defense twice as a subset, but when it reached level four, eight, or twelve, or sixteen, the subset that was buff was uh twice the the defense uh percentage which mean that it's it's fairly unlikely that I get that uh again either with a purple or like a legendary artifact it really doesn't matter i doubt i'll be able to find another like gray artifact like that soon uh also a gray artifact that match the set that i've got because obviously what you want first is a good set so if I have to upgrade this artifact, I'll get another Gladiator uh, piece. 
but it will have to be a gladiator piece that give me uh, defense as a substat. And not only defense once, but twice. Uh, this is a, such a massive artifact. This is so fucking good for uh, Noel. It's insane. It's in fucking sane. So yeah, I don't really blame my viewer for being misled by guide on the internet. Uh, because um, obviously I have more experience. And I can tell you that whoever thinks that purple artifacts are useless is a fucking moron. So yeah, in general, don't be stupid. Look at the stat. Look at what you need. And that would be what I would say for artifact in general. And after that, what would add on artifact in general is... Um, I don't think there's any way you can really go wrong with artifact. Unless you start selling all of the artifact you, uh, you're, you're looting. Uh, this is uh, some mistake that I've seen uh, some people do. That I've heard some people do. Uh, when you start the game, some people think that like uh, blue or green or like uh, gray artifact are useless you really need them to level up your art artifact because it's the only way you can level up an artifact so i don't think you can really fucked up when it comes to your artifact not uh deeply but keep in mind never sell any artifact i would i would pretty much say to everyone not to sell pretty much anything in this game uh, most of the thing you can loot are pretty much uh super important and anyway, the, the the storage amount in this game is just insanely high. I, I've been playing since day one, and I'm only at 8,000 load. I have 30k, which is in fucking insane. And there's a lot of shit that can just like throw down the garbage, throw down in the bin. It's insane the amount of space that I've got. And as long as you don't like have a stupid amount of like fucking apple in your inventory, it's very like doubtful you will like have a full load. So, um, yeah, never sell anything, uh, especially artifact. And since I'm talking about artifact, might as well give you some more bonus information, bonus tips and tricks uh, that I think is really useful. When it comes to artifact, again, uh, first read your character talents, see what they need, uh, see what uh, is uh, really good to have to build on those characters. And after that, uh, make the decision of what you need. And I would say most of the time, what's the most uh, efficient on a character is to have two different set. Um, it's fairly rare that I will I only have like one set on a character. I, I go with the two piece set most of the time, and I get two two piece set. And sometime, I don't want to say sometime, but there's actually an exception uh, in this game. There's um, those little crown right here, and those crown are one piece set. But if you have um, two two-piece set, you can have a third set with only like one piece. So that's really cool. You can have up to like three set uh, onto a same character. That's really nice. And on top of that, sometimes it's fun to have like two set of attack percentage. So you can have the gladiator set and you can have the brave art set. Both of them give you 18% of attack. You can have both of a dose set on one character which would lead you to having 36% of attack a bonus obviously it's not something that I do very often most of my character I like to have like attack and another type of set and on Lisa in particular I like to have uh, increased elemental damage increased elemental mastery actually on another DPS that I've got I have crit rate because her talent give her more crit rate and the weapon I've got give her regeneration based on her crit. Uh, most of the DPS you will have in this game will uh, tend to have um, something special about them. So you, you sometimes want attack and crit or attack and elemental damage or attack and something else. Sometimes it can be elemental recharge. Uh, it's really dependent on your DPS and you really have to look into the, the talent that they have. So this is a fairly short video so might as well do a wish. Uh, I'm keeping all of my primo for the like next banner that I think is interesting. And by the next banner that I think is interesting, I mean fucking Xiao. This is the only character that I really fucking want. The only fucking character that I want, Xiao. I'm so preparing for it, you have no idea. But in the meantime, I got uh, 10 of these shit uh, that I quaint at fate. So might as well do a pull. Let's see what we can get. Whew. 
So no, no fucking legendary again. No fucking legendary. I will never get a fucking legendary. It's insane. Never. <laughs> it's fucking insane. The game doesn't like me whatsoever. Okay, so we're, so far we're just getting weapon. That's dog shit. No! Yay! <laughs> Lady Noel. Okay, so we didn't get a legendary, we didn't get a five star, but we got Noel, and I mean, I already have Noel, so that's pretty fucking cool. Well, it, it, that's not totally useless. Uh, how much do you have with Noel, constellation wise? I didn't have any constellation, but I'm glad I got one now. That's cool. Anyway, on this note, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.